It's a big one today, so. We're going for the two scoops. It's a funny one, you know, going to the gym. Especially when you do it sort of four, five, six times a week. It can tell you a lot about a person, a lot about their character and what they're actually capable of, because it, it takes a lot of dedication. Now I'm not going to sit here, I'm not going to stand here and tell you that I am the epitome of hard work. That's not what I'm trying to do, far from it. But all I'm trying to say is if you really, and I mean really, really want something, you have got to be prepared to put in the work. It's as simple as that. And I think that applies to anything really, whether it's at school, at uni, in your job, on social media. What have you done today that will get you one step closer to where you want to be? Oh. Being busy doesn't always mean you're being productive. So oh. next time you're sat around doing nothing thinking you deserve to relax, just think there's going to be someone out there answering that email that they don't want to answer. Doing that gym session that they don't really want to do. So ask yourself, compared to them, where does that put you? give 100% in everything that you do and you still don't succeed then you can think okay yeah I, I did my best it just didn't work out but if you don't do that you're gonna have the constant regret for your entire life thinking I could have tried better here I could have done this better there take competing for example imagine you are stepping on stage and you have that one or two or three however many cheat meals and then the person that comes first didn't. What are you going to think then? Summer Shredding has just finished and the finale video has gone live. And there are so many people that will have worked their freaking asses off in that competition and still wouldn't have won. There are so many people that would have absolutely busted their balls to look the way they did on stage. And they still wouldn't have won. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't be proud because everybody knows that they give 100%. Now I know this is slightly different to the kind of video that I would normally make guys, but in all honesty, I watched the summer training finale and obviously I've watched Christian for years and I just figured, I was like, how can someone get to that kind of that caliber, you know? How can you be that successful? And the one thing that everyone says about Christian is that he's always the hardest worker in the room. He is always doing something to promote himself, to promote his business, something that is going to better his life and everyone's life around him, right? And so I think the thing that people miss, the trick that people kind of miss is exactly that. The fact that they don't answer the email that they really don't feel like answering. They don't do that gym session that they really don't feel like doing. And I don't want this to sound like I'm just kissing Christian's ass because I realize that that is exactly what it sounds like. But love him or hate him, you can't deny that, that work ethic. And that's all I want you guys to take from this. Just give everything you have in everything that you do. Otherwise, you just can't really complain about not succeeding. You, you just can't. Testing, testing.
One, two, one, two. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. oh -ho -ho. Chicken. Just testing microphone. I've not used it in ages. Can you hear me? You're all right, mate. You're all right, Mr. Clark. Yeah, some good mates. How are you? How does it feel then? Uh, weird. Really? Yeah. I've got another job. I've got like I'm getting the ball rolling with things now. Obviously, I've met my class. I've established mm. the rules and expectations. I'm obviously getting a car soon. So I've got. A what did you say? What? Good morning, class. Oh, nice, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be your teacher for the next year. <laughs> now I'm just going to tell you to not be little. Sh What are we doing now? <laughs> Great, cheers. <laughs> Can you reach me back? I can't, I can't. Oh my god. No, 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 you got it wrapped around the f Oh! <laughs> got it, man. Oh, thanks, mate. No worries. <laughs> thanks, mate. No. Sam, Sam. But so, what do you want? You want some pump? You can literally open your own business. You want some <laughs> legend? Do you want some wobs? Do you want some fucking... Total war, mate. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> How many are you having? <laughs> oh my god, please. I just hate you take this long. <laughs> Such a faffa! Um. Uh, hey. Hey. One. Ah! Mm. Mm. Nice, man. You didn't cheers me. Yeah, thanks. Grow up. The cheers is important. Apparently you're supposed to make eye contact as well. If you cheers someone, like, you're meant to go, cheers, otherwise it's bad luck. I call bull I'm superstitious and I call bull It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. It's like putting shoes on the table to walk under a ladder. Or I don't put shoes on the table. I do. <laughs> That's nice. I do it on purpose. No, because if I, you know, I bought those new pair of like Italian shoes things. Yeah. I wouldn't put them on the table. <sighs> I wouldn't intentionally walk under a ladder either. Do you know what I didn't get? The one that really annoys me. The eyelash. What is that? Oh. What? Oh my god. <gasps> Make a wish. Why is that condemned? No, 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 no. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. What do you wish for? Can't tell you won't come true. <laughs> Shut up! Pump. I want pump. Why is it so smoky, man? She's actually losing money here. <laughs> look, look at that, look at that, look. Look at it. Look at it. You can't see it. Sick. Yep. Great. What are you putting there now? <laughs> oh, you, you need to go to the doctors and have your caffeine levels <laughs> checked. Bro, that's got no caffeine in it. That is a pump product. What's pump having in it then? That makes it pump. Makes you pump. Citrally mad out. Right, ready? Are you ready, Mr. Clark? Shh, no one knows what I'm doing. I like this song. <laughs> Get it up. A bit of 1975 in the background for motivation for me. Yeah, it's renowned for being motivational, yeah, aren't they? They play really good music. Especially in the gym, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice one. There you go. Come on. Oh, push, push. Good lad. And again. Nice, bro. Gee. Mate, you've got wings. <laughs> You've got f***ing wings, bro. You are flying into summer with them. 
Oosh. Sick t-shirt, Jake. Sick t-shirt. What you got, bro? Zero calorie chips. Yeah, yeah. I've got a zero calorie bun with zero calorie sauce and chicken and zero calorie cheese. And I've got a pot of just Pierre Gaines. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Sourcing it up. What mate. are you doing? And then. No. Mate. Remember, oh, it's all good. It's all good. They're zero calorie, right? Both of those things you just use, zero I calorie. I mean, these, this is actually like. It's actually negative calories. Yeah. Actually, there is pretty much nothing in the sauce, to be fair. So, for the fans, which one looks better? Liam's? Or Jake's? Jake's. But well, there's more food on your plate. Yeah, my food's better than yours. There's just more food. This just looks better. <laughs> Incorrect. Your opinion is incorrect. But the juiciness on that, that. Zero calorie ice cream. No shoes, no shirt, but I still get seven swatch. Oh, blooming oh. it, mate. A That's a lovely bit of air con, oh. that. Glorious. Glorious. So, yes, right, they, mate. Do, they do do magnets. What is on the cards? They have got incredibly small ones. What do I want a strawberry canoe? That would be probably bottom of my list to be fair. I'm thinking white magnum. Or normal magnum. Or the bueno. But then there's less no. in that yeah. that a magnum would last longer. Hold up. Hold up, bro. Hang on. How many calories? Are you seriously in this? counting the How many calories? Wait a minute, so. Yep. Yep, zero. Cool. Oh, lads. You just can't. You're right, mate. How's it going? What's All this good. nudity in my shop? Get out of here. <laughs> you love it, Dan. You do. Oh, mate. Call me out. Call me out. <laughs> oh, mate. Vodka slush is in this weather. Oh. That to die for. Come yeah. on. Come on. You know you wanna. Vodka <laughs> slush. Come on. Come on. Can you, say no, can you say no to that face? I don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know the shop though, mate, when you can turn up topless and he just you makes a joke about ice. you being topless. You are. Would you like a glass with ice? With what? The monster? With your monster. <laughs> and, a slice of, and a slice of lemon. I went with the magnum in the end because this actually has minus calories rather than just the other one having zero, so. Oh! Cheers. Cheers, everybody. You know, what, you know what we should cheers to, Jake? Doing absolutely nothing. Cheers. That's so cold. <laughs> oh. It's mental how good they can make these taste for, like, no calories. You're lying again, aren't you? I'm not lying, bro. You did not see the packaging. It's zero. First time drinking white monster out of glass, so I thought I'd document it for the peeps. Cheers, peeps. How much better does it taste out of glass? You know what? It tastes a little bit like white monster. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I think it's important to say that this vlog is kind of over three, four days. I don't know how many days. It's not in one day. I'm not just like smashing pre-workout and monster and everything in, in, in one day. As you have seen throughout the video, I've consumed various um, foods and drinks or whatever it may be. Um, that is what people would describe as off the diet, right? Um, and so if you are new here, if this is your first video, 
viewing. First off, what have you been doing? You've been missing out, you know? Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all of that good stuff, okay? Um, but anyway, I am dieting right now and have been for, you know, a while. Um, and so people kind of associate things like a Nando's and a Magnum and stuff like that with it being really, really bad, when in fact Nando's is just chicken and if you allow enough carbs and calories for an ice cream, then really it's fine, you know, don't, don't worry about it. At the end of the day, weight loss is due to calories in versus calories out. And if you are burning more or you know not eating as much and so that you kind of create that deficit from that, then no worries, don't worry about it, seriously. Um, I have been eating this way for the entire time and yes, it may, maybe it's not optimal. Maybe eating like a bodybuilder out of a tu piece of Tupperware is optimal and because you know you can't really argue that. If you're going to have a set this meal plan that works then you know it's going to work but that's just not for me. That's not sustainable in my opinion for the majority of people. For 99% of people that is just not going to work. It's too structured and then they're just going to binge straight afterwards where if you have that kind of that balance with food and your your a healthy relationship with with food if you like you know i'm gonna have this ice cream and it is actually okay sort of thing um then that is a lot more sustainable and yeah it might take a little while longer to lose the weight if you do have an extra ice cream because you know i've been there i'm sure you guys have been there as well um but you just have to bear that in mind you know don't expect results overnight so that's it really i, I kind of wanted to to call this video that because then Hopefully people will actually make it to this point in the video. I, I realise a lot of people won't, but people, I think, fixate so much on good food and, and bad food, and it's just not necessary. At the end of the day, if you, for the average person, unless you are an Olympic athlete or a bodybuilder or whatever, you don't have to worry about it too much. It is just calories in versus calories out, and obviously healthy, balanced diet and all that kind of stuff is key. Yeah, obviously, right? But balance it out and you're good. Um, I'm gonna have to stop sitting like this because I actually messed up my shoulder. Um, training legs, of all things. I was at the gym last night, if you saw my Instagram stories, um, and it was almost like I just didn't warm up my, my shoulders and my rotator cuffs enough, and when I was putting the weight back, I think I kind of just pulled, and it really hurts kind of deep within my, my, my shoulder. So I'm just gonna take a couple of days off, which won't be helping in terms of the, the weight loss, but it is what it is, you know, it's just all part of it. Sometimes you pick up these little niggles and you just do what you can, okay? But I don't know, we'll see. I'll keep you updated on my um, Instagram stories with, with that one, but that is the little kind of cheat meal, cheat day, whatever I decided to clickbait you call it. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please, if you have, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. It really, really does help. Much love. Together we will grow. And I'll see you in the next one. New series coming soon.